Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, mercy, and blessing unto all the hopeful elect out there. Unto all his Aquanian, Baakim, the elders, the brothers that are pushing this truth, you know, all throughout the world where you're scattered. All right. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists, that he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. Okay, we are the Hebrew Israelites, right? There's 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the so-called white man, they're not white, they're red. They are the Idumians, according to the Holy Bible, okay? We're the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans, black, <coughs> excuse me, blacks, colored people, you know, Mexicans, Cubans, Dominicans, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, people of Central South America, indigenous people of this land, we make up the lost 12 tribes of, of Israel, okay? There's 12 tribes. There's not just one tribe, the Jews, all right? And uh, in this lesson, pretty much going to be uh, going through Revelation 20, you know, breakdown, you know, Adoram Rath Desire, this be an edifying lesson, all right? <clears throat> and, uh, you know, just feeding off the plate that IUIC left, you know, because they taught... Where in this lesson right there shall be IUIC Rayleigh. You know, excuse me, that's my um my account. This is my account with my camp channel. <clears throat> so let's go with IUIC Rayleigh. Alright, in this video they pretty much make mention that um <clears throat> Great Millstone teaches that, you know, they kinda say it without saying it, but they say that Great Millstone teaches that we reign with Yahweh Shai during the Dark Ages or, you know, the thousand year period where the Roman Empire fell and the Byzantine Roman Empire ruled, which we don't teach that at all. That's not true. Okay. So this is a video right here. There shall be no now I have time. And in this Spot. video, they can cover you up to 200 bucks in between paychecks with no overdraft fees. Join me at Chime.com. Hey, Kai, is that what you wanted to do after high school? Uh. Not really. <clears throat> In this lesson, what they're teaching that there shall no be no more sea. And what they're saying by this, they're saying that when we get to rule in the kingdom of heaven under Yahweh Shai, under King David, under the twelve, under hundred forty four thousand, and the one third, the first fruits, the elect. They're saying that there the other nations will not exist in the kingdom. But then they will turn around and say that when we get in the kingdom, after we put Esau in slavery for a thousand years, they're going to break out of that and make war against us once again. You know, so it's a lot of contradictions there. You know, this group also teaches the Herald Doctrine. Be very wearyful and mindful of this group, man. They're the modern day Pharisees and they're spewing out a lot of, um, you know, how, how do you say it? The heresies and hypocrisies are coming out of this group, man. You know, and the majority of them are false prophets. You know, and or could there be some elect members of, amongst them? Of course, you know, and I, I dare say that they are. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shem El Shai, the Lord's going to pull them out. Hell, we, you know, we can't with a brother. I mean, he's on the other side, but his name is Ira. He's come out of this uh, madness. You know, so call on him, lie Yahweh, by Shem El Shai. The most is going to gather his elect, man. Okay. So it's Revelation 20 and 1. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's, that's the uh, precept. Revelation 20 and 1, it says, Satan bound. Now, you should know the word that for Satan means adversary. Okay? Rev 21, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And this, and this angel is talking about Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers. Now, this is who the world will call Jesus. This is So, this is who the world will call Jesus with a great chain in his hand. We're going to prove that. This is Revelation 1.18. I am he that liveth and was dead. And you have to go to this precepts because it's a, the scriptures is like a puzzle that you're putting together. And as it's written through thy precepts, I get understanding. Okay. So this is Rev 1.18. Explains about the key that the Lord has. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death not hell is not talking about a place under the ground where there's a you know red devil with 
horns and the pitchfork and people are burning and screaming and being tortured for all eternity. Hell is a condition of suffering. Right now, as the Israelites, we're here in our captivity being worn the F out, man. All right, through, through all sort of um, wicked oppressions, man. Unrighteous decrees, we've been worn out. The scripture says that he have worn out the saints. Guess what? That is hell. That's gonna, that's the condition of hell. Hell can also mean the grave. All right, what did Yahushua do? He defeated death. Oh, death, where is thou sting? Yahushua, the rose Yahushua from the dead. All right. After Yahushua, I believe after he passed on the cross, people rose from the dead and came back and lived full lives. Yahushua rose Lazarus from the dead. So this was me. He has the keys of hell and death. Hell can mean the grave, or it can mean the condition or a period of suffering. Okay. This is uh, Daniel 7 and 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. This is dealing with the Edomite kingdom and their power structure, man. Okay, mainly America. Okay, they're speaking great words against the Most High with the AI technology, with the false prophets, Catholicism, the, the, the Pope, their image, the rice device. Okay, the doest thou wilt spirit that's being pushed from this place. Okay. And think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Okay? So we're given into his hand. We're still in his hand, but right now, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is um, establishing the government of the nation of Israel while simultaneously taking down the wicked government of Esau. Okay? So Revelation 20 and... Uh, uh, one, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and that bottomless pit is going into Europe. Okay, it's dealing with Europe, it's a land of, of, of no natural resources. You know, this is why the um, uh, you know, this is why they 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 sent Christopher Columbus, you know, King Ferdinand, Queen Isabella over to the new world to get gold and different resources because they don't have that over there in England. Okay? Rev 22. And lead and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So this is dealing with Yahweh Shai uh, bounding Esau or taking him down during the Roman Empire. Now something very in interesting about the Roman Empire is that Jake began to rule going all the way back to about 91 AD, you know, with the five good emperors, man. Those were all Israelites ruling, sitting on, on sitting, sitting in the Roman Empire, ruling as Caesars, okay? All the way up to Constantine in 325 AD, okay? So, let's see. So we look at the Dark Ages as categorized, commonly used to describe the period between the fall of the Roman Empire and the begin, beginning of the Italian Renaissance and the Age of Exploration. Roughly speaking, the Dark Ages corresponds to the Middle Ages or from 500 AD to 1500 AD. You know, so some scholars say 325 AD to 1325 AD. That's a thousand years. But Jake was ruling way, way before that. You know, so that, you know, the most I don't have to deal with it, exact numbers, man. But if you, you know, if you want to say five to 1500, well, yeah, that's when uh, Esau began to come out of power. 1492, Columbus did what? Sell the ocean blue. So that would be that thousand year period. You know, most I sent the bubonic plague up and up there in Europe, you know, different parts where Jacob was ruling. And, and, you know, Esau was a, was a, coming out the cave, she was coming into power, getting high positions in the church. What was that movie the boy that's what that show the Borgiers is about. You know, it used to be on Netflix. You know how they got into high positions of power in the church and became popes and all that, man. Well we know the first Pope, the first uh monarchy established up there in uh England, those are all Israelites, you know, right? So called black people, people of color, people of the tribes. Right, because during this during this time period, just as it's written, 
And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. During him being bound a thousand years, he got, he was put up in the Caucasus Mountains, man. Okay? The Israelites took over the Roman Empire. The Western Roman Empire fell, which was known as the Pagan Roman Empire. And, and it, they pretty much switched you know, seat of authorities or capitals, if you will, to um, uh, Constant or Constantinople, all right? That's what they call it after the uh, Caesar or Emperor Constantine, okay? And they call that the Byzantine Empire, okay? During the Byzantine Empire, this is when you had the, the Christians, you know, ruling. You had the Muslims become coming up in power, 610 CE, Common Era, Okay, or A.D. after death or out of nine year of our Lord. Okay, so it's heavy time frame. During this time frame, you had the Crusades happen. You know, Jake tried to take back the land of Israel. Okay, so during this time, this devil was bound. He wasn't able to go throughout the earth lying, stealing, killing, and destroying. Okay, verse 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit. He got cast into the Caucasus Mountains. <clears throat> okay. And shut him up and set a seal upon him. He couldn't do shit. He was through. They were they were slaves during this time. They didn't they were brain. A lot of them were just living in the caves in a very low, nasty, defeated state, wearing their clothes till their clothes disintegrated. It tells you in this book called the Thirteenth Tribe. Okay. Tells you in this book, the Thirteenth Tribe. Let's get it. Arthur Korsler, the 13th tribe, which is in his book, what he's saying in the nutshell is that if the people in the land are the people, then, well, they, they would have to be 13 tribes of the nation of Israel. So what's that telling you? That's telling you that there there isn't 13 tribes. So that's telling you that these people are not part of the original 12 tribes. All right. During the Khazar Empire, they begin to um, they had to make a decision. This book goes into it as well. Like I said, the two main religions during this time was Islam and Christianity. Okay. Of course, you also had the, the Jews. All right. So they didn't want to be under the, uh, you know, authority of, of the Christians or the Muslims. So they kind of went and took on the customs of the Jews. Because back then you still had a lot of our people that embrace, you know, being a Jew, that embraced the laws and sacrifices and all that. They pretty much were Israelites. That didn't embrace Yahweh Shai. Christians were Israelites that embraced Yahweh Shai or Jesus or the grace period. The Jews, they were still trying to live by the law, pretty much. Okay. Back in Rev 20 and 3, and cast them into the palmless pit and shut them up and set a seal upon them that he should deceive the nations no more. During this time, he, well, he wasn't deceiving the nations. He wasn't allowed to go out and you know, make demonic sacrifices and kill, steal, and destroy and put people in slavery and, uh, you know, worship Satan. And, you know, he wasn't able to do that, man, until the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. So guess what? Right now, we're in that little season where he's loosed, man. Okay. And what is this man doing? Killing, stealing, and destroying. Okay, this is alternative uh, media. This is an alternative media website. Okay. Look at that. The Blood Moon Purim eclipse of March 25th will happen at the same time the devil comet becomes visible to the naked eye. And this is signs in heaven. This is signs of Yahweh Shai's coming, the second coming of the world, ignorantly called Jesus Christ. A great swarm of earthquakes off the Washington coast is raising concerns that the Cascadia subduction zone should blow. So the Lord said that there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. Guess what? These earthquakes are going to, you know, trickle and uh, cause other effects on the world. Okay. It says red rust on the moon, red heavens in Israel and a red horse that is preparing to ride. Right. China is actively preparing for war with the U.S. Wars and rumors of war. So this is what's happening while this man is loose during the little season, man. Okay. 
tax on churches are up 800 percent because when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn the whole world is in a state of mourning man because this devil is just sucking everything dry he's wearing out the saints he's wearing out the animals even the planet sucking all the oil off the earth putting chemtrails in the air manipulating the weather with his heart program you know this is what he's doing with the putting himself up as the most high this is what he's doing with his little season man but that is only a small preview of what is coming in 2024 and beyond let's see Dylan Mulvaney, a man who identifies as a woman, releases a song titled Days of Girlhood. See, this is what's happening while he's loose the little season. This is what he's allowing in his kingdom. And this is what's being promoted. You know, you got um, Kate Jindler getting the, getting the medal for switching to plumbing. You know, this is the witchcraft that this man is exuding, man, on the earth. Another retailer just filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The grinding is ceasing, man. Yahweh Bashem El Shai is destroying this place. <laughs> okay, and this is Esau's guy right here, Donald Day, Tr Day Trump. And this guy don't get in the office, or whether he do, which I just saw a video where he said, you know, if you don't get in there, it's going to be a bloodbath. You know, they're telling you right in your face. Civil war is coming. Okay, look at that artificial intelligence versus God. This is what's happening, man. He has a God complex, man. Okay, this is what's happening during Esau's little season. Okay, during this little season, he put himself up as the people of God, he stole the land, put the real children of Israel in slavery, called them savages, niggas, tree niggas, spicks, wetbacks, aliens, locked them in prisons, okay, poisoned them, you know, planned parenthood them, you know. Corporate media and Biden campaign take Trump's blood but have a comment out of context to point sinister scenario about losing him, losing an election, which is the spirit. All right. Whether he loses or wins, the Lord said there will be Egyptian against Egyptian. Okay. U.S. to hold meeting with dozens of allies to discuss the use of military AI, military artificial intelligence. Pretty much, they're going to give everybody in the military that rights device. Okay, so this is what's happening during this man's little season. All out chaos <laughs> and, and, you know, the worship of demons and technology. Transhumanism is on the earth, man. Rev 24. And I saw thrones. Okay, and during the dark ages, man, our, the Israelites, they were wicked. You know, they, they, they didn't have it right. You know, they, they were into worshiping saints. Okay, they were worshiping the body of saints. Okay, all of our people weren't Christians. All of our people weren't down with the Lord, nor did they understand because the church itself didn't have it right, man. You see, um, you had a portion of our people to them, whom they call the uh, Norsemen or the Northmen. You know, they're up there in Denmark, Sweden, different parts up there. Okay, <laughs> fleeing from the Roman Empire persecution, just like Jake's fled in Africa, fleeing from Roman Empire persecution. Where they embrace what you would call Norse mythology, the worship of Odin, Thor, and Frigga, which go back to the mystery Babylon, Isis, Semiramis, and uh, Tammuz, man. Okay, it's the same shit regurgitated, or Jupiter, and, uh, you know, <clears throat> Mercury, you know, Diana, okay? It's the same gods regurgitated, okay? on the earth and, and, and the Christians had it too because they had uh, Mary holding baby Jesus which is pretty much you know um, Semiramis uh, and uh, Tammuz you know the T the cross the T <clears throat> okay Rev 24 and I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. so yeah during that thousand year period when our people were ruling as kings queens Knights, you know, our people were ruling, you know, they had some sort of um, class to them, but we were not ruling with Yahweh Shai during that time period, man. Okay, we we're not ruling, it was just a period of time 
where the Lord gave us a break from this devil. Okay. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them. So Rev 24 is time jumping. Okay. It says at the end of verse 3, he shall be loosed a little season. Dealing with Esau, the so-called white man. Now verse 4 says, and I saw thrones, meaning rulership. And they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. Meaning, meaning the elect are going to be made judgments. Judges. Judges, excuse me. Rulers, kings, gods. Okay. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh. So that means some of the elect men are going to be martyrs and they're going to get beheaded. Okay. But hey, through that, what the Lord said, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. With that comes rulership. Okay. Which had not worshipped the beast. Neither his image, okay, which the, the, the beast is going into the NATO and the EU. His image is, is this world is modeled after the image of Rome, man. Okay, the, the laws, the, the customs, how everything is in Latin, the buildings, okay, the, uh, the bread and circus, okay, hell, the Catholicism, man, the Christianity, okay, the witchcraft, okay. The, the hell your 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 uh your senate, okay your presidential elections, okay the presidents there your modern day Caesars man, neither had to receive his M A R K appointed for his and the main point is you taking that rice device, appointed for his or in their hands no matter where, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. This is time jumping. This is way after, this is after Esau must be loosed. Okay, because it says Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of that follow. We didn't reign with Yahweh Shai during the Dark Ages. The elect are going to reign with Yahweh Shai after New Jerusalem comes down from heaven with the new bodies. And it's going to be an eternal rulership. The nations are going to be enslaved for a thousand years, all nations. After that thousand years, Edomites are going to be exterminated, done away with. The other nations are going to get their land back. Okay. But guess what? They're still going to be under the, uh, they're still going to be under the Israelites. They're still going to be tributaries unto us. They're still going to have to worship our God. Nations shall not learn war anymore. All nations shall flow unto the mountain of Jacob and say, teach us your ways. Okay. That's written in Isaiah 2. All right. Verse 5. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. And that's going into the, and that's going into the heathen nations. Okay, after a thousand years, you're gonna get their land back and everything. This is the first resurrection, dealing with the first fruits, man. Okay, because two thirds of our people there were not making on this side, but they will come back being born as righteous in the kingdom, all right, through the loins of the elect. This is another thing they go off on, man. Scripture says, All Israel shall be righteous. Okay, verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection. Blessed and holy and he who is part of the first fruits, who is part of the elect on this side. Or such had the second death had no power. The nuclear destruction is the second death. The first death is the flood during the time of Noah. During our time, the second death is this great nuclear destruction that's going to be brought upon the world by Yahweh Shai and the chariots. And the third world that's coming quickly. Okay. But they shall be priests of Yahweh and of Hamasiach and shall reign with them a thousand years. This is a future prophecy, man. This thing happened. Even though you had our people ruling out Caesars, kings, queens, knights, judges, you know, great men during the uh, so-called Middle Ages or Dark Ages. We didn't reign with Yahweh Shai during the Dark Ages, man. All right? What's coming? The elect men are going to literally reign with Yahweh Shai on the earth. Okay? And when the thousand years are expired, so it's time jumping again. It's going back. To, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. That's right now. Right now, Satan is loosed for a little season out of his prison. Okay? And shall go out to deceive the nations, which are in the four quarters of the earth. He's doing that now. He's doing that. The main way he's doing that is with his media. Okay? Fox, CNN, Green Street, all these people are actors, paid FBI, CIA agents, man. Okay, with, with his war, with his currency, 
with his AI. He's deceiving the nations right now, man. Okay. Gog and Magog, and that's dealing with Russia because they play a very huge part in prophecy, and they're also Edomites. To gather them to gather to the battle to the number of whom is as the sand to see. That's dealing with the third woe. The third woe is not going to happen in the kingdom of heaven. It's going to take place on this side because it's going to be the war to end all wars. Okay? And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. And fire came down from the most high out of heaven and devoured them. Yeah, the chariots. Second at 13. <laughs> okay? And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. This is dealing with the second death, man. The destruction that's coming from the house shy and the chariots and the ICBM to nuclear, the uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay? Where the beast and the false prophet uh, were NATO and the EU and Rome. Okay? Um, um, yeah, Rome, man. Okay? Are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And after they are destroyed in the second death, they're going to wake up in the kingdom as slaves. Okay? So I'm going to give one more precept, man. I'll, I'll end it. My lunch break is uh, ended. It's Isaiah chapter 2, verse 1. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yehobah Shemyashai's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. So it's going to come a time where the nation of Israel is going to be exalted. Our government, our rulership, starting with Yahweh Shai, you know, the elect King David, is going to be above every uh, government or authority upon the earth. It's going to be an everlasting kingdom. Going back to Daniel 7, full circle. Okay. And many shall come and go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us this ways, because we're going to have to teach the nations how to live on this earth. Law, statutes, and commandments. Because we're not going to be teaching other Israelites. Because it tells you a part of the new covenant when you go to Jeremiah 31. That we ain't going to have to teach nobody. We're going to have to teach nobody of the nation of Israel. Why? Because we're going to have new bodies reprogrammed, being perfect, serving the Yahweh by Shemiah Oshai. So who are we going to teach? The other nations. So how could they be no more see? You see? And we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, for he shall judge among the nations. Okay? We're going to be set up as judges. We're going to have authority over the nations, man. How are we going to judge them? Because they're still going to be in sinful flesh. Creatures made subject unto vanity. The heathen nations are still going to be going off. Okay? And shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their... So we're going to beat the fuck out of these nations, man. Excuse my French. So when it says rebuke many people, that's what's going to happen. Okay, when we get that power, hey, the scripture says that people shall be willing in the day of that power. We're going to go ham on these heathens, man. Okay, and they shall beat their plowshares into, they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their pruning and their spears into pruning hooks. That's weapons, but they're going to convert those weapons into farming instruments. Why? Because they will be made servants. Okay, and it's saying the second edge is that the world was made for our sakes. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. And that's it, man. And with that, I pray this has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.